Now, two army colonels have been arrested in the Democratic Republic of Congo following the killing of more than 46 people. The demonstrators were shot during a military crackdown in the eastern city of Goma. The group were protesting against a UN peacekeeping mission there, which they say has failed to tackle armed groups. A government delegation is in the city to investigate those killings. After a long consultation with different military groups, as instructed by the president of the DRC, I am able to announce to the public that two colonels have been arrested immediately, one from the presidential special unit and the other from the army in charge of the troops in the town. A quick court-martial will be organized in the coming hours. Joining me now is Alan Waikani in Goma. It does seem, uh, Alan, that the residents of the area are sending a very clear message to the authorities in terms of a shutdown. Yeah, exactly. This is what is happening right now. This is just one of the pressure that the, the population of Goma, mainly the youth movement and also civil society promised to maintain up to the day they will get a, a serious result from the authorities. Even though this outcome well, that we are talking about right now, the arrest of these two colonel, we have been discussing with some of uh, members of this group, for example, they are saying these are just colonel. They do believe that this, this city, this province in general is under the leadership of the military authorities means generals and other officials, they're still waiting for top official, officials to be uh, taken to the court, as the, uh, the delegation from Kinshasa promised that a, a martial court will be organized very soon. That's definitely the, the, the way for civil society to maintain the pressure, and they're still maintaining, and the population are following what is going on. As we can see right now, shops are shut down, and also the movement are very low in the town just the result of what has happened last week. Indeed, in two city. military officials uh, arrested so far. And obviously, a lot of disquiet in the community. They want to see more people held to account. Do you think that is likely? This is the doubt of many people, because uh, what we, are, we have been seeing right now in this town, the city is under the state of siege which is, there is a huge controversy around this uh, special uh, uh, governance under the leadership of the military. People have been complaining already for the, uh, the, the, the withdrawal of these measures taken by the president since two years past. And now with this situation, they are really not believing that a general who is the commander of the operation, at the same time the governor of this province, will be uh, taken to the court, for example. But... This is why they're promising, they're saying, we will maintain the pressure because we know that this colonel, those two colonels, they did not react for themselves. They were sent by someone and they want to know who sent them exactly to crack down on the, on the civilian so that they can, they can seize as a result of their struggle. This is what they are waiting for, but it is uncertain so far due to the, uh, to, the, to the situation in the town. This province is still under the threat and the military still governing the province and the president is not showing the sign of removing these measures very soon. We will have to see what, how things will move in the coming days. Indeed, and we'll follow events with you as time progresses. For the moment, Alan Waikani in Goma, thank you.